Hey all you amazing chefs out there, we're glad to have you back with us. Uh, today we're going to be working on a few different uh, hors d'oeuvres. Great stuff, that way you can have a little party, have some friends over, get a little snacks going on. Uh, today we're going to be working on a lamb chop. We're going to be doing a Dijon thyme crusted lamb chop that we're going to roast in the oven. We're going to pan sear it first. It's going to be delicious. We have a little bit of a red wine Pinot Noir sauce. And then along with that, we're going to also be making some Southwest crab cakes. They're delicious. You're going to love them. Your friends are going to love them. We'll see you soon. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start working on our lamb chops. We are going to go ahead and take off all the silver skin right here first. So we're going to take a little bit of this fat off, a little bit of this silver skin right here. We don't want to trim too much, but we do want to get a little bit off of there so that way it's not tough. It's almost like when we were working with our veal chop in the last episode. We're going to take a little bit of that off. We like to leave a little bit of the fat on there. It's nice, juicy, makes it look good, makes it taste good. And we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit more of this off right there. All right, we'll trim a little fat here. And we're gonna go ahead and season it with a little bit of salt. And of course, some of our black pepper and the salt. And we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of our thyme that we have here. Or pull it off the stems. Chop a little bit of this guy up, just a little bit. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of that thyme on there. And don't forget the back side. You wanna make sure that you, see, you season both of the sides. And same thing, a little salt, a little pepper. Gotta make sure it tastes good. All right, and then here's the key ingredient. We got a little bit of our Dijon mustard. I'm gonna spread all over that guy. Flip this over. A little bit more on this side. Looks good. If you wanted to marinate this overnight, you can marinate it overnight. Get a little bit more of that flavor infused in there. And so as you can see, we got a nice little coat of the Dijon along with the thyme on both sides and if you'd like to join us over here we're gonna go ahead and put that in a hot pan we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to it and then we're gonna go ahead and sear that off and then roast it in the oven for just a few minutes all right great so we have a really nice hot pan here we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil to it and we're gonna go ahead and set our lamb chops Again, we talked about making sure that you can hear that little sizzle. If uh, your sizzle's not quite where you want it, go ahead and turn the heat up a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and let that sit there for just a few minutes. We wanna get a nice color to it on both sides. So we're gonna probably let this uh, go ahead and probably sear for about maybe three or four minutes on one side. And then when we flip it over, we're gonna go ahead and let it sear on uh, the other side as well for about another three or four minutes or so. Okay, great. So we've been letting it sear for about three or four minutes now. As you can see, we've got some really nice color. We're gonna go ahead and flip this guy over. And we're gonna go ahead and let it sear on the other side for another three or four minutes. What I did was I chopped up about, maybe about a half a stick of celery, a half a red onion, and one really nice, good sized clove of garlic. And we're gonna go ahead and throw all of that in there. Hopefully it catches a little bit of the juice from the lamb. We're gonna add a little bit of stock to it in about another minute or two. We're just gonna let that kind of caramelize, saute up, kind of get all that uh, nice flavor infused together. And then we're gonna pop this in the oven for about maybe about nine minutes or so. Depending on your oven, if you're using convection, I really enjoy convection. I feel like it gives it a nice crust, gives it some even cooking, and it, it really just, just kind of helps out make the, the dish kind of all come together. If you're not using convection, I would recommend maybe going up about maybe 375 on your oven. When we do do the convection, we're probably somewhere about 350. Uh, again, the convection, I feel like it kind of helps make the, uh, the beef kind of, or I'm sorry, the lamb kind of cook together really nicely. 
All right. So as you can see, we got a little bit of color on that, that side. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven. And we're gonna go ahead and let that cook for about eight or nine minutes. So we have our lamb chop in the oven. We're gonna let that guy go for about seven, eight minutes. And in the meantime, we're gonna start working on our crab cakes. So I have a red, orange, and yellow bell pepper. And if you remember last time, I showed you, cut the top on both sides. And then we're gonna cut one little slice down. And we're just gonna kind of roll it open. And as you can see, we don't have any of the seeds, anything on the inside. So we're gonna take about a third of that bell pepper. And we're gonna do the same thing with the yellow one and the orange one. Move those guys off to the side. Slice it down one time. And we're just gonna roll it open. Same thing here, we'll take about a third of that guy. Do the same thing with the orange one. We got quite a few requests on just kind of going over that technique one more time. And we'll stack these guys. And what we're gonna do is just dice them up, kind of small. Turn these guys over. All right. Let's pull out some of the big pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys in our mixing bowl right here. So we have these guys. We're gonna take a little bit of a red onion. It's about a fourth of a red onion right there. And then we're gonna mince these guys as well. And we'll add these guys to our mixing bowl as well. And what I like to add is a little cilantro. We'll add a little bit of parsley. A little bit of green onions and some basil. Take all these guys. Got about a quarter bunch or so. Add a little more, a little less. You can customize this recipe if you'd like. Make little adjustments on it. So we're gonna take our herbs next. Add those guys in there. So you have a nice little mix. And we have our orange, a little bit of orange. Got a half lime and a half lemon that we're gonna add to it. And we're gonna add about a pound of crab meat. Love the crab meat, it's crab cakes. You gotta have enough crab meat in there. And we're gonna mix this guy up a little bit. You wanna be gentle with it. You don't wanna kind of uh, squish it. You don't wanna mess up your crab meat. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of Dijon mustard and a little bit of mayonnaise. I've got a, two eggs here. So I usually do about two eggs per pound of crab meat and about a half cup of panko breadcrumbs. I like the panko breadcrumbs. I think it makes them a little bit more on the crispy side. Add those guys. We'll add our eggs in there. About a spoonful of mayonnaise. Maybe two spoonfuls. And just a little bit of the Dijon mustard. And we're gonna mix these guys together. So as you can see, we have a nice mix. And we don't wanna stir it too much. We don't want them to become dense and heavy. We want them to be light. All right, looks good. All right, so from here, what we're gonna do is, since we're gonna make hors d'oeuvres, we're gonna make them kinda small. Got a little bitty crab cakes. Add those guys there. I'm gonna shape a few of them. And we're gonna make about eight of these guys. We have about eight lamb chops and eight crab cakes. That's why everybody grits one. Gotta make sure we feed all the, uh, the camera crew as well that are hanging out with us here today. These guys are all about maybe one or two ounces. Not too big. Slide those guys over. Wash my hands right quick. All 
All right, so we got about eight crab cakes. We've got a little extra mix. Feel free to make some more crab cakes. Make one or two testers if you wanna eat one. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and take this over here, same thing. We're gonna put it in a hot pan with a little extra virgin olive oil. And we're gonna go ahead and sear these on both sides for maybe about a minute or two. And then we're gonna go ahead and finish them in the oven for an extra three or four minutes. So if you'd like to join me over there, let's go ahead and start these guys. All right, so we're letting our pan heat up. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil to it. The same thing, we wanna go ahead and sear these guys off. Adjust our flame just a little bit. Right now, it's been about nine minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and pull our lamb out. And we're just gonna let that guy rest. I had a little bit of stock earlier. We're gonna go ahead and add that in our pan. We have a nice hot pan, so as it reduces down, it's just gonna go ahead and kind of bring all our flavors together. So we're just gonna go ahead and let that guy sit there for just a few minutes. And we're gonna go ahead and start on our crab cakes. Go ahead and add these guys to our pan. As you notice, you don't really hear that sizzle. So we're gonna go ahead and let that guy heat up for just another minute or two. We're gonna adjust the flame. Again, we talked about making sure that you, you look, you listen, and kind of time everything. So right now we can see that we're not quite where we want as far as the sizzle and the saute. So we're gonna go ahead and let our pan heat up. And we're gonna go ahead and bring our uh, lamb chops over to our cutting board. And we're gonna go ahead and see if these guys are ready to go. All right, so our crab cakes are starting to sizzle. Our pan is nice and warm, so we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of them in there. Now you can really hear that sizzle start to saute. And that's what's gonna help get us that nice color on our crab cakes, help develop the flavor, give us that really nice caramelization that we're looking for. All right. As you can see, they're starting to saute up really nice. You see the bubble happening, you can hear it. And I wanna say maybe about two or three minutes or so, we're just gonna go ahead and let these guys kinda of cook on one side, and then we'll flip them over, then we're gonna pop them in the oven and let them go for about another seven or eight minutes. All right, awesome. So now we're gonna go ahead and flip these guys over. And they look great. Be careful, they are delicate. We try not to add too many breadcrumbs in there. This way it's got a really nice amount. And you can see we got a good color there, a good amount of crab, crab meat in there. So we're gonna go ahead and take these guys, pop them in the oven, let them finish cooking, and we're almost ready to go. Great, so our lamb chops are just about ready. You can feel them. They're just uh, right at about mid-rare. And we're gonna go ahead and make a, a mint marscapone pesto for this. So what we're gonna do is take some pine nuts. We've got about a cup of pine nuts. A little bit of mint. Maybe about eight or nine leaves or so. And then we have our marscapone cheese. We'll add that guy in there. And we're gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of salt. About a pinch or two. Same thing. Add about a pinch of pepper. And we're just gonna go ahead and blend this up. And of course, you gotta taste it. I'm gonna make sure that... All right. I'm just gonna add maybe just one more pinch of salt. And one more pinch of pepper. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, check on our crab cakes next. So we're gonna plate all these guys up all at once. We have our uh, cutting board right here that we're gonna put everything on. We'll give about two or three minutes or so and we're gonna pull out those crab cakes. Great, so we have our lamb chops here. We pulled these guys out of the oven. They're really nice looking. We pulled our crab cakes out. They've both been cooking for about nine minutes or so. We just finished up our Mint Marks Capone Pesto and we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of sour cream and a little bit of cilantro. Got about 
I don't know, about maybe a fourth bunch of cilantro here. I'm gonna chop this guy up. And we do wanna chop this pretty fine because we're gonna make a little bit of a sour cream cilantro sauce for the crab cakes. And I like to add just a little bit of lime, a little bit of lemon, just to kind of help that flavor pop. And of course, you know, we like to season everything with a little bit of salt and pepper. So we're gonna mix this guy up. And this is what we're gonna use for our Southwest crab cakes. I'm gonna hold this guy right here. So we're gonna take our crab cakes Set these guys right on our plate here. I just got this really cool cutting board, so I wanna go ahead and put everything on there. Gotta be careful. Some of your friends may have a shellfish allergy. If they don't, well, then we we'll just go with them both on there. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and take our lamb chops. I'm gonna slice these guys down. All right, so we have our juice. We do wanna save all of this, this liquid right here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, coat these uh, lamb chops in that sauce here in a minute. I like to bring them down the back side and just cut straight through them. I like these guys a little bit more on the uh, medium rare side. If you're more well done, then keep them in the oven for just a couple minutes. These guys are nice and tender. Looks like they're cutting really nicely. And this guy right here. Usually that last piece doesn't have the bone. That's for the chef right there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and plate these guys up. And we're gonna go ahead and top off our crab cakes with just a little bit of that sour cream with the cilantro. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our mint mascarpone and we're gonna put that in just a little bowl right here. Let's set that guy right on top. And then we have that really nice pan sauce. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and reduce it down for about another minute or two, just to kind of get it a little bit more thick. So this one, we pour it over the uh, lamb chops and uh, set this guy out. It'll give it a really nice glaze to it. All right, so we have our pan on the heat. We're starting to reduce it down. We've got our really nice stock. What I have here is a little bit of Pinot Noir. You know me, I like to taste everything, make sure that it tastes good. Let's go ahead and get a little taste of that. Lovely. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit of that to our sauce. I love cooking with wine. As you can see, it's starting to bubble on this side. We wanna make sure that that happens all the way around. Yes. It's coming together really nicely. And again, when we're, whenever you're cooking with the wine, you wanna make sure that it's starting to bubble, it's starting to get that nice saute action going. And we're gonna go ahead and let this cook down for maybe about another minute or two. Once, once we get it nice and thick, we're gonna go ahead and plate, plate all, uh, our sauce over our lamb chops. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, amazing chefs out there. We have our uh, pan roasted lamb chops with a Dijon thyme sauce, a little bit of Pinot Noir. We have our Southwest crab cakes with the cilantro sour cream and our mint mascarpone just to top it off with our lamb chops. We hope you enjoy the show and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. You guys have a great one.